How's it going? So, uh, <laughs> my dad woke me up this morning, um, freaking out because he needed help adding photos of his car to the face page. No, no, no. What did he call it? Was it face page? I think it was face page. To the face page. And I'm like, oh, that's cute, daddy. He called it face page when it's Facebook. You're cute. But, uh, oh, shift time. Oop. So, yeah. it's This contest is going to be a little harder than I thought uh, since I didn't really know much to begin with. Um, basically, it's kind of like I said it was. You don't have to put your, like, um, you don't have to enter your, e your email or anything like that. But what you do have to do for this one thing, get, like, 25 points, which everything, or to get, like, 50 points and everything else is, like, 25 points, the person, a, uh, someone that wants to help me out does have to put in their uh, their email, but it's not required. You just have to, like, like us on, on basically, they give you a home page, right? There's a home page and it tells you like how long you've had this car and like how many people have liked you, how many photos you've uploaded of the car, and how many people have scanned the QR codes, right? So it's all these factors that give you points. The photos give you like um, like a point or something. I think it is a point. And then um, if you become a member, you get like 50 points. If you which I don't know what you get. I think it's just a newsletter if you become a member. And then if you, you do the QR code, you don't do anything. You just scan the QR code and then bam. And then there's this weird thing which I we have orientation we have to go to, which is going to be a hoot. But um, they're going to explain everything there. But what I get from it, I was reading over like the rules and regulation sheet, which is like 20 pages. It's ridiculous. Which they had to amend a few because... <laughs> Someone got the brilliant idea that, hey, we can um, sign up with a whole bunch of random uh, emails and get 50 points each, and we'll totally get a whole bunch of points. But um, they fixed that. You can't do that anymore. So someone already ruined the fun. But um, why was I telling you that? I don't know. But anyways, I'm just going to... There's this other thing which I don't really understand. You go to sponsored like places restaurants and stuff and, and it's either people that are already there you get to take like scan your code on your car and then scan the code at the sponsored place this is all going from information that my my dad gave me and you can tell this is just way over his head you know he, he's he's doing really good you know a lot, a lot better than I thought he would he's doing good but you know it's just when he tries to explain it to me, I'm just like, what? What's going on here? But I have to go to a... That doesn't... See, what I even just said didn't even make sense. Like, you go to a place and get... It's just way too com complicated than I believe it actually is. I believe you probably, like me, as the car owner, I go into the sponsored place and take a picture and that of the... Or take a, a scan of the QR code and that shows that I took the car to this place so so it shows that I'm actually participating in the contest I think that's what it's there for it's not like to prove that you're getting contestants from the place that you're at like you, it could but it doesn't I don't it doesn't sound like it works that way so I think I'm just gonna drive around to a whole bunch of sponsored places take a picture of the or take a scan of their QR code and um, this is a really boring one. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just trying to figure out this contest without actually knowing anything about it, which is kind of hard. But I, as, while I'm at that place, that sponsored place, I'm just gonna be like, hey, and hopefully, hopefully someone will come up to me like, what are you doing? I'll be like, well, this is what I'm doing. And you want to take a you want to scan my QR code? I get points if you do that. That'd be super duper awesome. So. I'm gonna use it like that, but I'm all, and they give you like this Twitter, and my dad's is, he did the Craig Ferguson, Ferguson thing, he's just like, I don't know how to use the Tweety, I'm like, Dad, you, you just quoted Craig Ferguson, and you don't even know it, that's awesome, but, um, which actually was Craig Ferguson who was quoting, uh, oh shoot, what's his name, he was in, um, oh, 
that old guy, what is, what is his name? Shit. Um, he was in Mary Poppins. He was the guy, he was the chimney sweep. Um, I don't know his name, but, um, yeah, he, he's, I think he was the one that originally called it the Tweety. Um, and then there was some politician that called it the Twit. Something, something weird, you know, but I'm, I'm referring to the Craig Ferguson one. Anyways, on the highway, merging! And, um, it's, it's quite, it's not a lot of people today. There's this truck beside me, and there's this car in front of that truck, but that's about it. There's a semi up there. Not, not, nothing to be afraid of. Don't worry, I'm an awesome driver. But there is a Saturn that's going exactly the speed limit. It's driving me nuts because I'm a little bit late. Oh, I have to go because I got burgers. <laughs> um, I got a rosemary bagel with, uh, with a little bit of bacon and scallion cream cheese. It's quite excellent, though. So I'm going to go ahead and eat that while I'm driving. And try to avoid those those little kids on those three-wheel tricycle things. Um, because they, like, around here, they like to jump out in front of traffic. Especially on the highway. They're just like, oh, moving objects. Let's ride this in front of them. But, um... Oh, thank God the Saturn left. I'm gonna pass you, you, old man with big glasses. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna blast some music, listen, uh, eat some uh, rosemary bagel, and get to class, hopefully right on time, because right now it doesn't look like I am. But I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, wi I'm wishful thinking, wishful thinking. Okay, thank you for watching and putting up with my random trying to figure out how to do this contest thing, or actually just figure out what this contest is. And there's a guy with like 15 mattresses on his car. Hold on, you actually have to see this. He has, it's a van with no joke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 mattresses. It's attached to his car, hold on, hold on. Check this out, check this out. It's coming, it's coming soon. There's a red car, you might not see it because of the red car. Look at all those mattresses. Oh God, merging! There's so, ma so much merging, there's so much merging, there's so much merging, you dick. You dickhole. Sorry, there was a dick behind me. What the fuck is this car doing? Okay, I gotta go, all right, bye.